Okay, as you can see, um, as you bend the lines and you apply a checkerboard pattern, that it appears to be moving up and down and up and down. And that's because your um, eyes are kind of being fooled based on the lines. You can see I have up lines here, down lines here. I call these rainbows and smiley faces. So you just keep connecting them. I may add one more line here just to balance it out right there. So because it's a large space, so and I'll, I'll color that black. So I'm going to turn so you can see how I continue this. So I have some rainbows here. So I do a smiley face here, a smiley face here, and then I come back down here. Smiley face here and smiley face here. So I do the opposite color of what's there. So over here is white, so I'm going to do black on the next one. And then um, over here as well. Which if you have a larger marker it goes faster in these large spaces. Now you don't have to do black and white. You can do red and white. You can do orange and white. Um, I would leave white in there, but you don't have to. You could do red and green if you want to, or anything you choose. This kind of makes me think of looking up at a circus tent. How it kind of falls down and is pulled tight up. Okay, so you're just going to continue this all the way around. So I'm going to move to the next one just one more time so you can see and then I'll um, shut the video off. So um, I have my smiley face here so I know that I have to do the opposite. So I'm going to do rainbow, rainbow, rainbow. Now it's dangerous to do it with a sharpie because if you mess up you really mess up and you have to redo the whole thing. But I can't wait to see your designs and again these triangles don't have to be exact but try to space them out um, kind of sort of evenly and um, have a good time with this. It's a lot of fun and um, you can you know learn how to add other things to it if you'd like. Have a good time. Bye!